Good evening everybody, Celtics A4 this is for 18. Let's play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for Nintendo Switch. Last time we left off, we, we finally finished up the uh, damn shack, aka Dungeon Maker, and we got all the collectibles. Well, we still want collectibles short and, and, and as the figurine. So let me uh, go go to my uh, my map real fast and go to memories and to refresh our memory as we got all 32 pieces of hearts and we got all 50 uh, secret seashells. And we did get the boomerang since we don't need to shovel anymore. And so on today's episode, we're actually going to, um, this is pretty much a finale because we're going to the final dungeon. So all we gotta do now is we gotta go straight to that egg. Alright, guess we'll, yeah, it's best to warp that damn shack. So yeah, so now it's the finale. Hope we shouldn't take this freaking long. Shouldn't go over an hour. I was gonna do so I was gonna do so oh yeah, um word of advice. Now before we um before we uh, start the final dungeon, let me kill these enemies first. Alright, we, we wanna go see let's uh go to your main menu and go to the album. And yeah, you may remember I, I took a picture uh oh, there's a little spoiler in the um in the screenshot for the secret ending, but anyway, um, take note. I right, take note that code right there, right? Once, up, 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 damn, up, at least five times. Left up, so many ups, man. All right, one, two, three, four, five. All right, right, up five times. Left up. Okay, that's that should be easy to remember. All right, I just want to I just want to um show you the uh, code again because we're gonna have to remember that when we get to the uh when we get to the final dungeon. All right, so we get to the final dungeon, just get to this area, and then we should meet Mr. Owl. See, this is our first visit here because we uh you may notice that when I when I opened up the map, I haven't uncovered the egg yet. Who the wind fish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play, uh, when you play the eight instruments of the uh, sirens in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. All right, so we got all eight instruments. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we have to um, do we have to play a song in front of uh, the egg, or he'll already play it? All right, let's just walk up to the egg, and we should trigger a cutscene. Oh no, just play the uh the ocarina. Alright, we got it. Cause for some reason I keep thinking you have to interact with the egg and hit egg, but no, that's not the case. Just play the uh ocarina by switching the uh Marin. Alright, right up five times, left then up. Sometimes I don't trust my memory, but we're gonna try it out. But yeah, this music kind of drags on a bit. But uh, do I like the tune? Oh, yes, I like the tune. Oh yeah, fun fact: you guys had seen my tweets last night. Yes, I did watch the uh, the award, the the game awards, and let's just say it was meh. I was just going straight up and say, uh, Psychoro won it. It should have been Smash Ultimate that won the game of the year. Okay, now... So now the egg has been opened, or hatched, or whatever. And here comes Mr. Owl. Sitting on top of that egg. The time has come. The wind fish awaits. Enter the egg, who hoots. You know what, I'm actually gonna... I'm actually gonna save... Right now. Because in, in just in case... Just in, case I, just in case I'm having to die against the final boss, I'll, I'll, I'll load my save file and I don't have to go through that cutscene again. Alright. Now, into the final dungeon we go, called... The Windfish Egg. But yeah, Psycho had won the game of the year when it should have been uh, Smash Ultimate. But yeah, what can you do, right? Alright, so all you gotta do now is just fall in the pit. You remember that code I showed y'all? 
Now is the time to follow it. Now the pattern is you want to go right up five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then go to the left. Then up. And that should be it. What I tell you. Now, as I explain, kind of by accident because I have found out doing that recording, doing that, uh, doing that episode, but, um, I'm gonna tell you right now, the code is RNG on every playthrough, so, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm, I'm gonna remind you guys again that, um, that, that the pattern for the final dungeon isn't always, isn't always the same, it's always gonna be RNG, and the only way to find this out is by going to the library, and, and get, oh yeah, yeah, get the magnifying glass and read that book, and it'll tell you the combination to the final dungeon. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. And so, let's just fall in the pit. And see if you can wake up the windfish. But first... We were born in nightmares. I freaking love this music right here. I really do. To take over this world, we made we made the windfish sleep endlessly. Man, that sounds so freaking scary and deep. If the windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We we would have been the masters of this place, but you have come here to disrupt our plans. What are you, Dutch Vanderlyn? <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble. Alright, so now we're about to fight the um the nightmare. I don't know I don't know his name though. Yeah, I don't think it has a name. I think it's called Delph. Pretty sure it'll tell us. Nope, doesn't tell us. Alright, now I was kinda stuck in this fight. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, we have to take all your magic powder and pour it on him. Okay. Memory came back to me. Yeah, this, this Vinyl Boss is so crypted as fuck. Alright, so now it's going to phase two. Okay, we had to deflect the, um, the, uh, the fire back at the, uh, back at the nightmare. This motherfucker looks like, uh, looks like, uh, Waddle D off of Kirby. Wait, it reminds me of that, of that, um, that, uh, that Azure Dash fight off of A Link to the Past. Yeah, you know, the, you know, the, uh, the, the not so, um, Samp type of boss. Yeah, that motherfucker. Azure Dam. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you, you can't defeat the, uh, the Blue Era. So watch out for that. Come on, give me some good energy, pal. Oh my god, come on! Come on with the bullshit, man! There we go. Okay, now here comes the tough part. Oh, oh, oh this ain't it yet. Oh, it's the Molten phase. This one's kinda easy. It's the next phase I'm worried about. Oh, shit! The not so public Ganon! Snake mode! Alright, here comes the fire I'm afraid of. Now he's gonna be in his Ganon form. Alright, so he's gonna throw his, um, his freaking spirits at you. But you wanna move side to side to throw off your flame bats. Then he's gonna throw it at you. Then when he does that, you wanna, um, like charge at him. But it's kind of finicky though. Especially when you play this on a, on a 3 heart run. Oh my god, this fight is a nightmare on a 3 heart run. Oh shit. Oh my god, he won a turn! Yeah, I do not like- Yeah, this face is so- It's so goddamn finicky. See, that's another reason why I saved, in case I happen to die.
Oh boy. And you see, every time you charge it to him, you get hit. That is bullshit. This music is pretty catchy. Oh shit. Oh, oh, that is bullshit. He charged right into the motherfucker and it didn't count from taking any damage. Yeah, they fucking cheated right there. Yeah, I think he takes three hits. Oh my god! See, the thing is that, yeah, you have, you have to charge him like, like, like on the side of the motherfucker. Alright. And yeah, before you say him with your sword, that that's not gonna work. You, you, you're gonna have to charge into him. Alright, let me, uh, alright, good. I got three fairies in me, so let me, uh, oh god. Let me take my bow and arrow. Oh, wow. Alright, got him. Alright. Oh, we have to uh, hold the uh, charge button and then. Oh, what the fuck? I forgot about this phase. I forgot about this fucking phase. Okay, we have to hold B, then, um, then, then release at the right time. Alright. Is this it? Alright, it's it. Here comes the fun part. Oh shit. Now the final phase of Nightmare, Dells. So you gotta shoot with arrows whenever this eye opens up. I gotta say, I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this music right here. Oh my god. At least the final at least the second phase is, is, is a little is somewhat easy. Just jump over his arms and, and shoot the mother and shoot the eye whenever it opens up. Pretty much straightforward. I think you can kill him faster if you use your boomerang. But I use my arrows on the motherfucker. Man, he takes a lot of fucking hits. Alright, we got him. This island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. And our world. Dun 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 dun. Oh my god. Why? So Delph is dead. So now it's time to wake up the windfish. Link, you have beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. Alright, thank goodness we didn't die, cause I was getting nervous about that, cause that one phase doing phase one of the uh of the Delph fight. Oh, I'm honestly a curvy a little bit. Hello, Mr. Owl. Hoots. Young lad, I mean Link, the hero. You def you had defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. At least he ain't come from the poorest part. <laughs> As part of the uh, Windfish Spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wracking havoc. Then you, Link, came to rescue the island. I have always trusted in your courage. I knew that you could turn turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Link. My work here is done. The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye, Hoots. But unfortunately for you, Mr. Owl, that's kind of a bad thing on you and everyone else. And you'll see why in a few minutes. Alright, there's the windfish. Look at that damn well. He looks like that damn well off of um, off of uh, Dragon Quest, the one that Missy Dawn is streaming right now. That's this recording session, I mean. 
I am the one fish. Long had in my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared. It was surrounded by an island with people, animals, entire world. But verily, it meant it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dozed awaken, Koholit co will be gone. Only the memory of the dreamland will, ex will exist in the awakening world. Someday though, may recall this island. That memory makes the dream world real. Come Link, let us awaken together. Play the eight instruments, play the song of awakening. All right. Oh, he okay. He's gonna make, he's gonna all make play it. I thought I had to hit the X button to um play after I equip my uh, ocarina. Oh shit! This is what I was talking about. So yeah, so we just did the uh the world of light on the motherfuckers. Yep, we did. Oh, <laughs> Mario found his mushroom. Yep, and they all died. So yep, the island is no more because we woke up the uh the wind fish. Yeah, this ending is kind of messed up. If you want you ask me, this ending is pretty fucked up. If you ask me, why does that end this way? We saved the island. And we destroyed it. What kind of fucked up shit is this? And our final cutscene. Alright, now, now take note. We haven't died in this let's play. Oh, and that scene we just seen? That was, uh, Marin. You have to turn into a seagull. Cause you you guys may remember her mentioning that when we um when we uh met her at that beach at one time. When we had to get her so we can so we can uh sing to the waters. Alright, now that's the wind fish. That big galoot. Oh my god, that that fucking shot right there! Makes me think of that one shot with Free Willy we got freed. We you jump over the damn, um, the fucking, uh, the, the cliff or whatever. And I love that shot right there. Alright, so there we have it. Alright! We get we made it to the credits, and that's it for let's play um Link's Awakening for Nintendo Switch. But uh, as I mentioned, after this credit goes off, there is one more thing we're gonna do before we end the episode or the finale. It's still it's still an episode, but it's still the finale though. <laughs> so yeah, so my final thoughts on Link's Awakening for Nintendo Switch. I have to admit, I really enjoyed this game. Is this the best Zelda game I've ever played? It's hard to say. But let's just say that uh, I love the fact that there's traditional dungeons in this one. Well, this is a remake after all, so... This comes from the guy who was, who was playing uh, a Breath of the Wild recently, like a few weeks ago. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do love the dungeon in Breath of the Wild, but... I'm kind of bummed out that they got rid of the small keys in that one. And most of the bosses in Breath of the Wild were, were freaking rehashes, but in Link's Awakening, there weren't there weren't any rehashing there weren't any rehashing bosses. Well, except for the except for that um the final boss where he was imitating the um the the Afro Dam uh boss fight from Link's from uh, Link to the Past, but yeah. And do I do I apply this story? Yeah, it's pretty good, but <sighs> I just don't like the idea that you did all that hard work by saving the island, then you destroy it. At least Mary didn't die. 
she turned to a seagull because she did mention she did say that she wished be she did say that uh she wished that she'll, she'll become a seagull when you talk to her at that beach. Wait, Dimitri uh Kaluf? That dude from fucking um uh, Grand Theft Auto 4? <laughs> but yeah. So so I guess you could say that Marin's dreams has finally came true. She wanna become a sick when she did. But yeah, I would give this game 9 out of um 10. But yeah, this is I would I recommend this game? Yeah, I recommend it. Still sick of dolls though. If you wanna uh, give it a try. Alright, I'm not gonna skip any credits because um for my credits, eh? Alright, 93 in 2019, Nintendo something something something. Alright, the end. Now you may saw a little little screenshot when I went to the menu earlier. We're gonna see in a few minutes. Yeah, we hear Marin singing. Yup, that's your secret ending. I love how she blushes. Yep, and there is um Marin the Seagull. But does she really appear in Wind Waker as a seagull? And the only way Okay, and, and the only way to see that cutscene, the only way to unlock the uh, secret ending, by completing the game without dying. Alright, so let's save. Save over this one. We should get a different artwork, and yes we do. Alright, so now we're back at the tile screen. Now this is where I would in now this is where I would uh end the last play, but there is one more thing we gotta do. And God forbid, no, we ain't going to that God forsaken dungeon maker again. No, no, no. No, not even close. Not even close. Alright, now we wanna uh we actually wanna walk back to um we're gonna um Walk back to uh, Mabel Village and go to the claw machine. Cause remember how I was saying that um that we won't get the final figurine doing post game. We about to do that right now. So that way I can safely. That way I can um I can safely confirm that I 100 percent this let's play. But yeah, this 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 really was a funny game. Oh, and nothing they, need, nothing they need to mention. Now I'm about to finish this let's play. Well, there's a slight chance that I may take a, I may take a, uh, like a short break from let's playing until Jan January 1st. So if that's the case, then expect a lot of streams coming from me next week. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be streaming a lot. Now, what would have been fucked up if you, uh, if you love your clear save file and there's no on to explore? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go in the claw machine. And with that, we get our final reward. A uh, freaking Bow Wow. I mean, it is like a, it is kind of fucking weird that the shit unlocks right after you beat the game. Like, come on. Okay, move right. I don't see you playing Life is Strange 2. Cause there is a claw machine in Life is, in Life is Strange 2. And speaking of that, I should be episode 1 today. I will go on episode 2 soon. Yeah, I knew I fucked up. Ah oh, man. Ooh! At least we got a lot of rubies to spare. Alright. Now. Alright, come on. Oh my god. Okay, good, good. Cause I, I, I wanted I wanted to knock it off the uh 
all the moving platform anyway. Okay, Chain Chomp, don't be a fucking dick and get back on that moving platform. You stayed right where you belong. Oh shit. That's not gonna grab it. Ooh! Third time's a charm. Third time's a motherfucking charm. <laughs> nope, don't want to start again. Give me a holla. Alright, with that we got our final uh, figurine. The Bow Wow figurine. It's scary realistic. You got a good eye and steady hand. And here, that makes you a champ. And here's a lump of rock to prove it. I think it's called a chamber stone. Yeah, that's a bullshit word if you ask me. Yeah, you don't really do nothing with the chamber stones. Huh. All right, so now um, you know what's funny? They could give you, they could give you the uh, the chamber stone right after you have placed the uh, the figurine in the pedestal. Now, where's this Bow Wow at? Is it in my house? Oh, no, it's at, the, it's at that old lady's house. Yeah, yep, it's in her house. Yep, it's right here. Alright, and with that, folks... Now it's safe to say that I have I have officially come to this let's play. That's what she gotta say. Okay, she ain't gotta say anything. Oh shoot! I keep they I keep that won't take damage if you, if you take the bite out of me. All right, well I'm gonna save my game. I'm actually going to um go to the main menu. Alright, let's see. How can I go to the tile screen? Oh! Okay! At least I uncovered a map <laughs> on camera. So now you, now you guys get to see what the uh, map of the mountain looks like on the map. <laughs> like it actually matters. Alright. Why you why you, you can't really go to the tile screen in this one? I thought you could. Alright, I guess what we'll, I guess we'll end it off here then. Alright, so this wraps up my let's play of um Link's Awakening for Nintendo Switch. Hope you guys enjoyed. As I mentioned, I may take a break from Let's Playing until um until January first. Cause I, I do got two I, I, I do I, I do have uh, two let's play I got in mind. Well, two of them is a possibility, and one of them is for sure. Let's just put it that way. And what I just want to say, hmm, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the award, the the game awards last night, cause I sure as I sure as hell didn't. Oh, and let's talk about the uh, the Xbox, uh, the new Xbox console, the Xbox Series X. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, that fucking console shit like a goddamn brick. <laughs> Yeah, that's all, that's all I'm gonna say, cause I gotta end this video and, and take my ass to bed. And, and get ready to stream tomorrow night, cause I, I will be streaming some more of you laying in possible layer. Then on the weekdays, I'll, I'll, I'll probably find something else to stream. Because, beyond with you, cause, because like I said, I I'm trying my best not to start anything new. Unless, unless I decide to pick a short uh, game to let's play. That's not gonna take. That's not gonna take like super long to finish. But once again, folks, hope you guys enjoyed this let's play. This was a fun game. I, re I really enjoyed it. I, mean, I wouldn't mind playing it again if I have to. I mean, when I record for the game in Dustios, I'm most likely gonna even send it. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, I'm about to go offline, and I'll, and I'll see you guys soon. On my, uh, I'll meet you guys back on my, uh, on my, on Twitch when I stream some more you late and possible later. That's all I can say. <laughs> We'll start for the log outros though, but that's not the point. But for real, I'm about to start off right now. So until next time, everyone, Celtics A42 out.